Okay, let's see what the cross can do. Okay, it definitely has an effect. This guy's retreating after the cross. Yeah, that's definitely some type of reaction to it. And they appear to be more more passive after that. Okay, gotta end this now. It probably acts like the like the severed head has a very limited effect, I think. Okay, next test, let's see if the walking kebab stand is impressed by the cross. Yeah, that looks like a backing off animation. I've never seen him back off anywhere before that. Come on, back off. Is he actually backing off or just... Or maybe... Um, I have a suspicion that maybe some, something, some problem in the animation system where some animation is scheduled after the next animation, so there's a delay to the reaction. Maybe there's something like that going on. Because he doesn't seem impressed at all by the cross. Yeah, he, he doesn't... Yeah, this guy doesn't react to it at all. Now just for double testing, I'm going to see if I have a human skull I can use. Raw leg. Just have a regular skull. Why is he backing off like that? Ow. Does the skull impress you? Nothing. Okay, now the final test for the cross in the cave is against this... Some weird four-legged enemy I haven't seen before. Okay. The, yeah, that looks like backing off animation. Yeah, I think he's backing off from the cross. Um, he's just walking away from... Yeah, it has to be the cross. Let's try a third time. It's a great way to defeat those guys. It's just... Um, make them argue over something so they can't decide which way to go. <laughs> Yeah, the cross has definitely an effect on those things, and I found it in this cave, so it's probably a, a tool against um, these cave monsters. And now let's test if the cross has any effect on the normal uh, cannibals. 
Mm, not sure if that has an effect or if he's just backing off. It appears to have no effect. <laughs> 